money about the women. God has a thousand ways. Be a man. Be a man. Where's the Kusema? Here am I. Send me. you can spare a few minutes tutakuwa kwa pamoja ni napenda kuwashukuru wenzangu mchungaji makasese sante sana kwa mada uliyotoa ya worship ni mada nyeti nimefurahi kufahamu kwamba mchungaji Rajabo anafanya research yake katika atakuwa akiandika mambo ya worship kwenye masomo yake sasa hivi wale msiofahamu pastor Rajabo kipata muda ongea naye Mungu amemtoa mbali atampeleka mbali Mungu anamtumia kwa kazi uh, ni mmoja wa wachungaji ambao wamejisomesha kwa kujituma kwa kujitegemea na hivyo tunaomba tumwombe halafu anatoka kabila ambalo tuna wachache sana na hivyo kumuona hapa kwenye kazi ya Mungu na mshukuru Mungu kwa ajili yako soka mbele bwana akubariki um mwalimu Kazagata kukuona tena kwenye jukwaa wangapi mlimuona mwalimu Sina maana mlimuona kaza gata mliona mwalimu. Ulipokuwa ukizungumza hapa nikasema hili darasa la historia ukikaa utalala kweli uongo. Ulali kabisa lakini basi ninataka kuambia ni hili ya kwamba shule hii ni moja ya shule ambazo zinakwenda kwa misingi ile ile ya shule elima halisi na ya kweli. Na mewakilisha vizuri mno in simplicity but in truth and in reality ime mimi ni mimi ni mwanafunzi wa hiyo elimu mimi kama mfahamu ni mwalimu na hiyo nimechukua miaka mingi kidogo kujifunza lakini ni tunda la elimu ya shule za kiapentista na hivyo ninafahamu anachokizungumza sana ninakipromote sana ninachopataka kuambia ninyi kama wanatukasa msiwe na shida kuitangaza shule hii huko mliko mnapofahamu ameniambia kwamba huwa hawana nafasi za kutosha lakini hata kama hawana nafasi nyie tangazeni tu kama ni kuta zipasuke zipasuke haleluya lakini shule hizi zimewekwa 
kama vyombo vya tena hivi karibuni tumekuwa tukipromote hivi sana ikiwa kuna njia ya winjilist nitazungumza baada ya hayo mambo mr kazagata hakuna njia ya winjilist iliyo bora kuliko shule tunatumia pesa nyingi sana kwenye effort na mambo mengine lakini hapa wanafunzi wako hapa 24/7 kwa siku ngapi kwa mwaka Mia mbili na zaidi mahubiri gani utaweka watu kwa siku mia mbili praise god for our schools Amen. na tuzisimamishe tuzisimamie tuzisupport kwa hali ya juu kwa sababu education and redemption are one Ha vitengani kwa mpango wa Mungu wa elimu. Kwa hivyo asante sana. Asante sana Pastor Izungo kwa kupresent hizi messages za Adventist identity from the communication perspective. Na nipende tukuambie ya kwamba ikiwa hujui ya kwamba kwa nini tulikuja na hili la kuemphasize identity ya Adventist ni kwamba kuna wakati tulijiuliza swali pale jana conference. Nalo ni hili kwa nini kanisa lina vitu vingi linalofanya kuliko Coca-Cola mm. lakini Coca-Cola inafahamika zaidi kuliko kanisa la Adventist wa Samaria? Mm. Tulipojiuliza hilo swali tukagundua kwamba sisi wenyewe sio wataalamu kwa hivyo tukaendea tuka employ a marketing firm. Tulilipa pesa nyingi kidogo. Tukaambia kwamba hebu tuangalieni tuangalieni not only in the US tuangalieni globally ndendeni mahali tulipo mashule yetu ma hospitali makanisa yetu angalieni waliporudi midomo imeachana you are a great movement lakini coca cola inafahamika kuliko nini akaambia tatizo lenu ni hili moja kila mmoja ana sura yake kila mmoja you don't have a common identity inatakiwa muwe na common identity ili mtu akigeuka huko anaona akigeuka huko anaona akigeuka akigeuka huko anawaona anasema wow kwa hivyo mkiona tunafanya haya si kwa sababu tu ya kupoteza muda na nguvu zenu there is a mission to be accomplished in that kwa hivyo tunapoaomba sana ya kwamba by the way hili tuna hati miliki kwayo haya mnayoyaona ni totally registered unique to the seventh day adventist asiye adventist anayetumia haya tunaweza kwenda mahakamani na kumshtaki we have total ownership of the script aliyowaambia lakini na logo yetu na sizes mbalimbali tumefanya hayo kuna specifications zake tunaomba usiwe mbunifu kwa kuboresha hiki ni registered kina royalty yake kimewekwa kisheria lakini lengo letu ni hivi we must have a common identity wakati fulani nimekwenda kule Korea nikavutiwa sana wao waliamua ya kwamba kila kitu chao watakiita samyuku 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 makanisa ni samyuku mashule ni samyuku kiwanda cha chakula ni samyuku transportation system yao ni samyuku retirement homes wa hizo nazo ni samyuku kila mahali ukigeuka kila dakika unaona magari yanapita mjini samyuku samyuku na unajua samyuku ni adventist wa sabato be wise ndio maana unaona hata morning star tumeomba kwamba wabadili jina kwa sababu kita morning star ni hapa Tanzania lakini tunataka mtu kutoka Brazil akija hapa afahamu kwamba hii television nimeona hoteli lakini ya Adventist ndio maana tunatumia sasa Hope TV Tanzania Hope TV Kenya Hope TV Brazil ili yeyote asiwe confused ya kwamba japokuwa ninaangalia nikiwa Tanzania hawa ni Adventist wa Sabato wale wale ili tusipoteza wateja hata sisi tuna wateja haleluya bwana asifiwe hata sisi tuna wateja kwa hivyo ya mambo haya ya identity ya wekeni maanani ya fuateni wengine mara nyingi wasipopata education inayofaa wanajiuliza kwa nini mambo yote haya hayana lazima there is a purpose behind there is a mission to be accomplished kwa hivyo tunapokuwa wote kwa pamoja na kwa umoja kazi ya Mungu ndivyo itakavyosonga mbele and what else do we have kuliko kazi ya Mungu tuliopewa okay for Yeah, 
nipe kama wa Adventist hawezi kuimba tutaimba nyimbo za shangwe kuu umeuma ndimi onyesha furaha ya Adventist hakuna tukio lililo kubwa na bora kuliko marejeo ya Yesu Kristo tutaimba nyimbo za shangwe bidi mpate semina ya kufurahi kabla Yesu ajaje. Kaende chini bwana wa bariki. Sana bu kabla sija ongea nani. Naomba nionyeshe video clip wale ambao mnaonaona YouTube huenda mmeshaona hii tayari. Well, you know, I think uh, we interfered with nature the day we put these animals in enclosures. And uh, these lions, none of these lions come from the wild. So, you know, interfering in nature, no, not really. Uh, trying to promote the better life of animals in captivity, yes. In the wild, lions don't like water. But look at this. A young lioness playing with him in the river. This footage has amazed wildlife experts around the world. Kevin's work here has divided conservationists. There are plenty who say that any human interaction with a wild animal is just wrong. But others say that this actually promotes the species in a way which should guarantee its long-term survival. Kevin's survival, though, is more in doubt. <laughs> Ni wangapi wenu ambao ukipewa dola laki moja you can do that. Tukiongeza sio laki mbili. Vipi milioni moja? Ni dola sisi mzima basi. Kwa na mahali hamkumsikia aliyekuwa nje ya face anapata shida sana kuliko aliyeko ndani. Mliona hiyo? Akauliza are you okay? Akasemaje? Yes, I'm okay. Lakini kuna wakati nilipokuwa mnacheka kuna kitu kingine alikisema ambacho nilitaka mkisikie. Akasema this is normal. Nawauliza is this normal? Ikiwa una akili zako timam this is not normal. But actually this can be normal. Wenda hutanielewa nasema nini? narudia kusoma fungu kuu in the context of this video clip Yohana wa kwanza sura ya pili mstari wa 14 video is toke kichwa I write to you dear children because you know the father hallelujah I write to you fathers because you know him who is from the beginning sasa hii ndio yeye i write to you young men and women for that matter that's generic because you are what you are what you are what man you don't hampeni <laughs> mnavyosikiwa that's that's what it is to be young because you are strong and the word of God lives in you and you have overcome the evil one I'm talking to victors 
not my words, the words of the man of God. He says, I write to you young people because you are strong. Where do you actually show your strength? Ngubu yako uwezi kusema ni na nguvu kwa kukaa kwenye kiti. Uwezi kusema ni na nguvu au akawasema vijana wana nguvu kwa kuwaona wamelala kitandani. Ah ah. Ni kwa sababu vijana they are on action. When you are on action, people can say these are strong. Na hiyo Yohana huyu alikuwa mwanafunzi wa pekee wa Yesu Kristo pendwa aliyekuwa akilala mara nyingi kwenye kifua cha Yesu anasema ninawaandikia vijana kwa sababu mna nguvu na mimi nakubaliana naye vijana mna nguvu na mimi siku moja nilikuwa kijana sasa hivi nimeshafika wakati nataka kukimbia kama nilivyokuwa nakimbia I can't nilikuwa nacheza cheza mpira nikijaribu kidogo goti ninapata shida pastor ngo akikaribu sana ninapata shida Nilikuwa naweza kukimbia mlimani nikiwa mwalimu wakati huo. Kutoka juu huko kilomita 20 na job mpaka bondeni. Na kifua changu wala haki, hakisuki. Nikageuka, nikajog kupata mlima. Those days are gone. I write to you because you're strong. I want you to know young people, you are at the prime of your life. Huu wakati si wa kupoteza poteza naelekea kwenye kilele cha uzuri wa maisha yenu maisha kwa sababu maisha ni kama kupanda mlima unapanda unapanda unafika kwenye kilele na hatimaye ukifika kwenye kilele unaanza kufanya nini remember your creator in the days of your youth kabla hazijaja siku utakazo juta i wish i wish sisi wakati mwingine tulio watu wazima wazima wazee <laughs> Tunaishi kwa kuwish. I wish. I wish. <laughs> Ni maisha ya majuto. Sasa tunataka mimi msi, msiwe kama sisi. Msije mkaishi maisha ya nini? Ya majuto. Kuna yule mchekeshaji anaitwa majuto. Kuna nani anachukua vijana. Lakini unaweza ukageuza maisha yako ya kawa majuto. This is the time to be tired. The time of your youth. Huu ni wakati wa kuamua usiahirishe. Siwaambii kwa sababu nimesoma kwenye neno la Mungu. Nawaambia kwa sababu nilikuwa kijana sasa ni nini? Nimzee. Don't you postpone it. This is the time. Huu ni wakati wa kuachifu. The best you would like to achieve for yourself but kwa sababu umekuja hapa kwa ajili ya Mungu this is the best time for you to achieve for the Lord Jesus Christ whom you love this is the time don't you waste it don't you procrastinate it utakuja kuishi maisha ya majuto when the hata mnaposema mechagua here i am lord send me we say wow praise god These young people are ready to be used by God. Praise God. Mungu awabariki. No tena. No. Bwana awafanikishe sana tena sana. Wale ambao mmeamua kwa nia thabiti ya kwamba mnataka kumtumikia Mungu while pursuing your ambitions. While pursuing your education. While pursuing your vocation. Go ahead. God will be with you. Na leo unaposema here I am. Lord send me. Ujumbe wangu wa kwanza ni huu. Be a Bible. If true you're saying here I am Lord send me, then ujumbe wangu ni kwanza ni huu. Be a Bible. Be a Bible box for to send me upatikane Unaweza kutamani kazi ya Mungu but you're not available Kwa sababu kuna vingi vinakuhangaisha Vingi If you want the Lord to use you and the Lord is ready to use you be available Niwaambie kitu hiki 
wakati wote Mungu anapokuwa na kazi nyeti ya kufanya anachagua watu utalikuta katika Biblia utalikuta hata katika nyakati za hizi wakati Mungu anapokuwa na kazi nyeti ya kufanya anachagua binada na hilo kuchagua wewe akanichagua mimi akakuchagua binti pale ya kwamba you will be my servant at this particular time be a bible upatikane ili bwana apate kufanya kile alichokusudia kupitia kwake upatikane be a bible na ningechukua muda mrefu sana mchana huu sitapenda kuwasumbua kwa sababu tumechukua muda mrefu and i know the psychology of being tired be a bible kwanza kwa kusikia Mungu anapokuita kwa sababu Mungu anaita hapa <laughs> hili ningetosha kuchukua salt god calls individuals na leo hili nataka niwaambie mtume huu Mungu kuna wakati anaruka watu wazima akaruka waso akaruka wazoefu akaturuka viongozi akaendea jana kama wewe amen amen asema you nimekuchagua kio rabisha twende kwenye samuel samuel sura ya 3 let's read this together follow come come with me the boy samuel ministered before the lord and the eli In those days the word of the Lord was rare there were no many visions and where there is no vision where there is no vision people perish but Paul Jose what will happen to me sasa angalia taifa zima hili wakati huu wa Samuel ni kijana kijana hawakuepo wengi wanaoona Jose ole wa taifa ole wa taifa they were rare wachache sana waliokuepo Usiku mmoja Ela ambaye alikuwa ni Eli alikuwa ni nani? Eli alikuwa ni nani? Ni Kuhani mkuu. Yeye alikuwa ni nabii vile vile. Whose eyes were becoming so weak that he could barely see was lying down in his usual place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out. And the Samuel was lying down in the house of the Lord where the ark of the Lord was. Nilipokuwa nikiandaa hivi, nikakuta mbili hapa baada siku moja nitarudi. The Lamb of God had not yet gone out. Tremendous message. And the Samuel was lying down in the house of the Lord where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel. Nataka kuanzia hapa. Kuna Eli ni nabii. Kuna Eli ni kuhani mkuu. Kuna Eli ana umri mkubwa mno. Mpaka macho yameanza kufa. Haoni sawa sawa. Experience the leader. Lakini wakati huu ulipofika kutenda Mungu akamruka nabii. Akaenda kwa nabii kijana mchanga bichi kabisa 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 unaniuliza nafahamia kwamba ni mbichi mbichi usiku Mungu akamuita Samuel 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 akamka kadhani ni nani anamuita ni mtu hana experience na Mungu ende akamwambia siku kuita na kwenye ndoto ulikuwa ngoni sawa sawa nenda kalale akaenda kulala sana sana akaniruka tena mzee nimekuja no experience bichi <laughs> mara tatu sana sana eli ndio akabutuka anasema sasa unajua kwa nini eli alichelewa eli anafahamu kuitwa na Mungu lakini alichelewa kwa sababu hata sisi wengine tuliotangulia ninyi kwenye kazi kuna wakati tunadhani Mungu hazungumzi na vijana Nesikia kuna wakati tunadhani Mungu hazungumzi na nani? Na vijana hiyo ni theology yetu tu tumejiudia. Leo ni nataka kuambie Mungu anazungumza na vijana. Mungu anawaita vijana. Tena anawaruka wazoefu. Akawaruka Ted Wilson, akamruka Geoffrey Mbana, akamruka Mbwani hapa, akaenda kwako fresh in school.
Eli kabidi asawazishe zioloji yake Na kwamba vijana Wana ikisigiri ya sawajatua Mungu hawezi kuatumia <laughs> Mungu waka Eli akamambia eh, Kijana sasa hivi Nenda Lakini ukisikia tena Jibi Nipo hapa Hea ya mwote Hea ya akaisikia sauti tena ndipo akachukua ushauri msiache ushauri watu wazee kwa sababu Mungu anaruka usianze kuacha ushauri you work in close consultation with wale waliotangulia mbele ya safari utawahitaji kwa hivyo kwa sababu tu unaojana na maambio zako na kwa sababu you have found the favor of the Lord ukasema sasa hao viongozi wafie bali Mimi Mungu ameniita I am the best. Forget about it. There's nothing good in you to make the Lord call you. It's just his purpose. Amen. Kuna kitu anataka kufanya kwanza kwako. Ndipo hukume kwa wengine. Mungu anapokuchagua sio kwamba ni bora kuliko wengine. Ni kwamba wewe una kazi kubwa ya kufanywa kabla hujakamilika kwenda kwa hicho Mungu anachofanya. Kwa hivyo nao wito na Mungu anatakuwa na kiburi kinakwenda nini? Chini kabisa kabisa. They are high. And Samuel and I took a finish of Google up by the power. Why? Get one who will have a book of you who say, A kaya quamu. Lucky who will say, I am a musar and I hate him as a wish and is of the one who sits and watch. We will be in partnership. Why we are not going to a partnership? Ya Bingyana and what to a new Tangumia Penya Kazi, the Lucas and Takaka Soka. Mungu akamwambia habari za Eli. <laughs> Sasa kumbe usiku huo kwa Eli kujua ya kwamba amerukwa na Mungu safari hii anazungumza na Samuel. Usiulize na ukuje hata leo. Asubuhi Samuel ameamka na shughulikia mambo ya hekalu kwa sababu mama yake alitoa kushughulikia mambo ya hekalu wazazi somo kubwa sana staidia huko lakini alipokuwa anafungua madirisha ya hekalu na malango ila mzee usiku haukulamika vizuri akaja akasema mwanangu mwanangu Samuel ninajua Bwana amezungumza na wewe usiku wa leo naomba niambie alicho niakwambia Samuel kumbe amejaa huko kwa sababu ujumbe leo upewa ni waone na ni mkali. Sasa huyu mzee mimi nitakwambiaje ni nabii wangu huyu, huyu nabii wangu. Nitakwambiaje nini? Nampenda Eli. Japo kwa ni dhaifu kama mimi, alishindwa mahali fulani. Lakini Eli akamwambia, "Naomba usiogope." What a message from an elderly leader. Vijana wanasikia kutoka kwa Eli usiogope. Mtumikeni mungu msifanyi nini? Msiogope! Msiogope! Bwana atawaita. Hati kisha bwana mekuita. Sikia kama bwana mekuita. Kisha! Kwa takuwebo atina sabo ya hata leo. Tuta wana chia yoma. Tuta wana chia mwana. Tuta wana chia soja mele. Tuta wana chia mele. Tuta wana chia mele. Tuta wana chia mele. Tuta wana chia mele. Lakini msiogope! Nini ni vijana? Mna gumu. Gumu hazitokana na nini? Gumu zetu zinatokana na Mungu ambaye mmefuata. Amen. Kwa hiyo kwa hicho ambacho Mungu amepandikiza ndani yenu, simameni kwa jina la Yesu, mtumikieni katika campus hizo. Mtumikieni katika dhati ya moyoni mwa hali ambapo Mungu amewaita kutumika. Sana ndipo akadiriki. Na mimi nawaambieni hata kwenye kazi ya Mungu diriki akasema woga na uwe pembeni I will say what the Lord has said me Sasa nisikilize vijana kwa sababu mna nguvu msije mkawa na ubabe Msiende na chelo nendeni na cha Mungu Hakikisha unachokibeba na kupeleka si chako si fikra zako si mawazo yako si falsafa zako si elimu yako Peleka cha mungu, you are a God servant. And God has given you a message. Atakapu kupatia hiyo message. Beba huo ujume. Kwa upone 
napomnienie piekła. Samo akatoru lube. Ikiwa kisa cha samar hakitoshi kuwashawishi ya kwamba Mungu anaweza kuturuka sisi wenye uzoefu. Akaguka wengine wenye elimu na mali. Akakuijia wewe. Kuna kisa cha kidio. Alikuwa akitura ngano tu na kumbuka. Kwa sababu maadui wa Israeli walikuwa wamewachapa vibaya kuna wakati wanakuja na kuchoma mashamba yao the yoke of the servant hudo ya utumwa ilikuwa kali juu yao kwa hiyo siku hii ambayo ya kupura ngano alikuwa anatura ngano kwenye mwaloni mahali amejificha amevuna kule akaleta akajificha na pura ngano wakati huo malaika wa Bwana akamtokea eh shida eh shida na wanaandikia vijana kwa sababu mna nguvu malaika anashuka kutoka mbinguni anamwambia gidio Usijione kama unavyojiona. Jione kama Mungu anavyokuona. You are a bunch of potentiality. Amen. You are a critical bundle of potentiality. You and God can do tremendous things for his glory. Amen. Be a part. Unajua <laughs> Ingekuwa ni mimi Gideon ametoka mjumbe kutoka mbinguni ana, anaanza kwa kuniambia mimi shujaa unadhani ningejisikiaje nipo Ningeanza kunyanyua nyanyua mabega yangu Ikiwa misuri unaanza kufanya nini kutia joto misuri <laughs> Mjumbe wa Mungu ametambua na mimi ya kwamba ni nini ni shujaa Ukabakia kwenye ushujaa wakati ambapo ushujaa sio ujumbe aliyokuja nao. Lakini ukafanya ushujaa ndio subject wakati ambapo is not the subject at all ni salamu. Ni salamu ya kwamba Mungu anatambua your potentiality. Ushujaa wa Gideon ulikuwa hapa. Alikuwa na msiko wa watu wake ya kwamba ikiwa watu hawa ni watu wako e Mungu kwa nini tunapata shida namna hii na hiyo hata aliposalimiwa hakuanza kunyanyua mabega na kuanza kujisifu moja kwa moja kilichokuwa mzigo moyoni mwake ndicho akakitema ikiwa ikiwa ni kweli kwa nini watu wa Mungu wanaoipo kwa jina la Mungu wako kwenye dhiki ya namna hii na tabi ya namna hii lakini ujumbe ndio nataka kuambia ni hivi baba ya ya Gideon na alikuwa mtu maarufu sana kwenye timu yake. Maarufu sana. Mungu akamruka. Akaenda kwa kijana mbichi. Mbichi kabisa mbichi. Nikwambie baba ya Gideon alikuwa maarufu sana kwenye vita. Bwana akamruka mtaalamu wa vita. Akaenda kwa mbichi, mbichi Gideon mpaka Gideon ni akasema Mungu kwa nini mimi ndiye unanichagua mimi mdogo sana kwenye jamii yetu ni mdogo kwa nyumba ya baba yangu acha kwenye jamii i am nothing Mungu akasema sikuchagui kwa sababu ya unavyojiona ninakuchagua kwa sababu ya ninavyokuona with you we can save Israel with you we can reform a nation with you in partnership with you there is no limit to what we can do for the glory of God kwa hiyo jumbe wangu ni huyu kwa sababu huyu ndiye Mungu wangu anaweza kaniruka mimi akaja kwako young people be available just be available utaisikia sauti ya Mungu ikikuita Mungu anaita kwa njia mbalimbali labda utachaja fupi hapa lakini Mungu anaita kwa njia mbalimbali be available be available by bado nikupatie baadhi ya njia be available by hearing God's call be available by listening carefully to God be 
available by paying attention. Attend to the call. Be available by responding. Ukisikia Mungu anakuita, mjibu Mungu. Usiwe na kutoa uhuru. Just respond to God. Be available by consulting. Ulimona Samuel. Hakupuuza wazee. Akaenda kwa wazee. Akatafuta ushauri. Ushauri ukafanya kazi. Akathibitisha ya kwamba ni Mungu ameniita. Amepata semina fupi. Akajua ya kwamba this is how God calls. Consult. Be available for consulting. Do not ignore or just brush aside. Sometimes, utakunya kuambia baadhi ya njia mungu watakazo kuingia. Nirahisi brush aside. Nirahisi kusema, hivi wazo tula kuflash. Don't be weak. Take time. Don't. Don't slight it by rationalization. Mungu hawezi kufanya kwa namna hii. Kwa kawaida ikiwa ingekuwa ni kweli angefanya hivi na hivi na hivi na further logic. No, God is not limited by logic. Niambio hapa na malimu kazangata, hata shengea hizo siweka, hazitawali yei. Akisema shoka, elea, inaelea. That's God. That's God. Usenshisho kafanya kuwa hama wanada. He's God. Therefore, don't go by rationalization. Listen by faith. Be available by praying about it. And then act as you hear the Lord speak to you. Ask for the instruction. Be available by studying the scriptures. Let's show you what I want to Kali zamu zahiri, sana. Vijana, you must know your Bible. You must. Let's get it said. Kuna majeri kumeni, na roho ya nabi na tuambia, hakuna wataka uweza kusimama isipokuwa wale wali ukisimili kaka tika ni pola. It's not enough to listen to sermons, even from the most powerful preachers. It's never enough. You're still standing on a very shaky ground. You must immerse yourself personally, individually, into God's word. Simply remain one. Come, come, get yourself involved in the scriptures. Get acquainted with God of the Bible. Amen. Nikuwa sukuri kidogo ni sukumuza jiu ya Biblia kusadu. Kuna kosa watu wengine wanazani Biblia ni kitabu. Wana wambia Biblia sikita Biblia ni Yesu The Bible is the revelation of a person Jesus Christ There are many who have not known How to go into the Bible Kwenda kwenye Biblia Is to have a personal encounter With God Jesus Christ Lakini hayo be available by studying the scriptures personally. Be involved. That's what I want to be. Be involved. Binadamu wangekua na breath of mind. The depth of intellect unmatched. Ama yuwezi kuyona kukoto. Kano wengine wengi wanadhani bibia ni walalaho. Wewe ni mlalaho. But the best minds even in history have realized the Bible is not a cheap literary piece. The Bible is for the strong. Okay, India, ita kupanua intellect yako na kukupa breath of thought ya bayo hakuna wanadamu ya kuwa. 
spend time with the Bible. Amen. That's the best textbook that you have. Unless you have a narrow view of the textbook. Kama mwalimu alivyo kwa kusema hapa kuna wengine tunakwenda na narrow view of education hata rice bread. Kusema kweli. Best men in history, they don't know what education is. A simple class for women. By the power of God, we would instruct kings and the learned of the times. Amen. Not only have time, but into the future. Amen. That this is what education is. Amen. And you can't argue back. It's truth and reality. Maybe we don't want to reach for it. We need education. Go to secular universities. My professor of education, my teacher, who I have never seen a book on the subject I have never seen a treatise on the subject of education that is better than this book. Nothing. Then I found true colleague, who was Hindu, about my teacher, who taught me education, and it's the blueprint of the education they give. Be a high level. Be a high level by being courageous. Ikiwa watu wanaweza kuwa na courage ya kukaa na simba na mna hiyo. Kwa nini tumekosa courage ya kupeleka ujumbe wa habari njema kwa wa marafiki, peers, majirani. Wao siyo simba. Mwanja ni ngine mesikia. Niliona kwa na mwanja ni taka kweka o history record ya Guinness. Ya kwa mba ndia mwanadama lewa wa kukana nyoka kwa mda mbrefu kuliko wanadamu wati. Kwa kwa kati huwa kia mwanja hivyo kule hindi ya ni mwindi. Kuna kwa na mwanja South Africa likuwa mepakara kwenye pango na nyoka wanaingia na kutoka wanaingia na kutoka for three days na kati kwa kwenye Guinness book. Record. Hui mwingine ni kijana kasema mimi hiyo record ni naivunja. Akaletewa nukuta glass Labda mito tatu kwa tatu Nilikuenda kwa macho ya kumuona marangati Marangati because I could not believe the world Ya kwamba wanadamu wanya akili timamu Anaweza kwenda kuamua kukana nyoka Sikuwa manapewa pesa nili tukweka nili Record Watu vichwa kime haribiko Tulipanga mstari mji mzima, watu siku mzima mnyororo kumuona mtu arakana nini na nyoka. Sasa tukipita kwenye kio hapa, waliweka kikuzio, mnaingilia huku na tokea kwe. Kuna mtuta mekaa kwenye, kuna kitanda na meza na kadirisha. Everything else is sealed. Amekaa kwenye kitanda kwa sababu wa nagyoto, manyoka ya nakumi. Sisi huku nje Hoi Kana kwa manyoka tunatanyanda Sisi ndo tunatanyanda no Ye ya mejata basa kwa mefrani Sasa tukipita tunashaka Kwa kine tumeshika mashauni Najua tena watu reaction Kwa kuona kiki chanya Anayatikua yale manyoka Na ya tupa kutuliku Kwenye kiyo Hmm Ili vidi usi ujebo marapiki tatu Is comfortable wali uche ya usio Ndiyo karibu kufu Juma lapanza kufu pita kuna kukula mwili walipo wana gombani Waka muma Waka mtuwa haraka haraka waka enda waka mtiku waka mambia vipi Kapia majuma mawili Wena bende jizake akarudisho kwa jichumba Ali mwanza majuma haya Sijajua kama Guinness record hiyo ime haribiwa Lakini ilibaki Bijana na wanikia kwa sababu na nguvu Will you dare to great things for God? Mbuna wanu wali mwengu wana dare for great things that are Kukana nyoka What's that? Kucheza na simba Simba What's that compared to the salvation of mankind? Life. Na wanikia vijana kwa sababu mnanguhu dela. Dela. Reach out. Sasa, be a viable 
ambaye haya mengine pia ningeazungumzia kwa muda mrefu lakini sitaki kuachosha be available by courage and the fearlessness for after all mwitu wa Mungu mtia Yesu ni swala la life and death to those whom he has sent unajua linapokuwa ni swala la life and death this is an emergency true or false ni kweli ya kwamba nisipofanya kuna mtu atakufa nikifanya kuna mtu atakuelewa na mimi nimewaona mimi si daktari lakini nimewaona madaktari wakiwa kwenye emergency baba yangu siku ya jumamosi kama hizi siku hiyo tumekaa naye viongozi wa kanisa wamekuja kumuona hatukujua kumbe ndio ulikuwa wakati wa kumwaga kwa hajiwezi nikamweka kifuani hapa nakumbuka jua likizama exactly baba alilala lakini kabla kulala kulikuwa na indicate za kwamba mambo si mazuri ndio maana nikachukua nikamweka kifuani niliona manesi wa kishuhudi kapanda na kushtuka kita hapa na pale tafuta oxygen wa called the doctor nobody was addressed when it's about life and death it's not a time to be casual life will be lost hata kama kwa masomoni it's about life and death hivi kweli utakao uone mtu anakufa hapo na ufanye chochote ikiwa wanasiasa wanaweza kusema hatuwezi kuwa huru ikiwa hawajawa huru tutaokolewaje ikiwa hawajaokolewa there is no time for laxity there is no time for procrastination <coughs> engage in Jesus name be available be available sasa naposema be available na maana pia in humility be humble kuna kitu ambacho napenda kukizungumzia ndani ya kesho kwa sababu ndio wangu umependa unajua vijana vijana mna sifa hii you are zealous you are full of imagination and dreams you have vigor vigor ni kama kuna maneno kwa Kiswahili haya you you have enthusiasm you have vitality vitality hata ngozi yenu ikiangalia tu there is vitality you you are you are you are, you are flexible flexible You have an elasticity, mnamtika. You can be stretched without being broken. That's only during the days of youth. Ukishakuwa kama mimi ukikunja sana unavunja. Not the case with you. You can be shaped, remodeled, you can take different forms. You bear adaptability. Youth, that's what it is to be young. You carry with you freshness. By the way, You are beautiful. You are handsome. This is the day. Kuna wakati utatazama kwenye kile utasema ni mimi huyu. Utaki kubadilisha na madawa haibadiliki. It's gone. This is the time. You have energy. You have ambition. You have dreams. It's much more than what I'm listing here. That's what it is to be young. And because of what you are, if only that potentiality can be used for God's work, what a dynamite. If you use it for the devil, what a dynamite as well. I dare you. Use it for God. Use it for God. Usio kapata mali hapo ulipo. 
mpaka unaitikia wito wa Bwana. Si bibiki hii si laana nataka niwaambie tu wapendo kwa sababu nini ni vijana na Mungu amewajazia hivyo hivyo vitaja na vingine vingi. Msipate amani hapo. Mpaka mmetangaza uhuru wa Yesu Kristo. Amen. Msije mkaribika na kupata degree Go past the hand of flying cars. Good. Touch the lives of other students, of your professors, with the message of Jesus Christ. And I can hear, there is no greater achievement before God than that. Ninazungumza na vijana kwa sababu na mimi nilikuwa kijana. Msinione na hubiri leo. Nilikuwa na woga kama nini. Woga. Najua pastor Mwambi nini zaidi? Mimi naweza hiyo. Haleluya. Mimi. Kwa kwa shule ni walikuwa wanatania sana. Wenzangu wanajaribu kuzungumza na wasichana mimi hoi. Kwa hivyo kwa mapusi wana tafuta tafuta hiyo mpaka wamlevo hakiketi pale linatoa jasho. Si bibi sema nini? Wapo. Wapo. Na hakuna kitu kibaya kukaa na mtu hivi bila kuongea. Siku inakuwa ndefu sana. Sijione ninaipa hapa leo. Mimi nimemaliza sekondari sijasimama mbele za watu kusukutoa soko la cheza bali. Sijawahi kuongea hata siku moja. Nilikuwa na kipawa cha kuimba lakini kulikuwa naingia chooni. <laughs> siku moja nikiwa kugema pastor Rajab. <laughs> Wenzangu walifahamu kwa sababu tukiimba kanisani tena wakati wao ndio best sasa ilikuwa inaanza. Crack in the voice. Bwana sikia naimba kweli lakini wakisema tujipange tukaile not me tunaingia mitizi mitizi sasa kwenye mabweni tukawa tunaimba imba kila jioni sabato tumefungua wanasema tukutanike tuimbe tu kujifurahisha tukawa tunaimba imba 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 si nyimbo zikawa zinapangika kidogo sasa mimi sikujua kumbe wenzangu wamesha form potenti hivyo mimi sina habari <laughs> siku moja kwenye kufungua sabato sema peleni kufungua sabato tukaenda sema tukae pamoja tukakaa sasa mimi sijui kumbe wametangaza tutatoa wimbo maalum <laughs> na jina la mtoto wameshatoa ilipotamkwa tu aliyekuwa karibu nami akashika mkono akaniambia tunakwenda wapi <laughs> Nili tetemeka sana. Nili tetemeka sana. Tukafika pale usiniulize. Tulimaliza wimbo saa ngapi? Ulitokaje? <laughs> Sina habari. Natufahamu ni kwamba shati limeloha na majasho. <laughs> Sasa kilichosaidia ni tulipotoka nje wakaja vijana wengine. Mimi nasoma, mimi nasoma. Sasa fa. Mimi Thank God for those who cheer you up. Amen. Wangekuja na kuanza kunipiga marungu pale ya kwamba na kutuche ni singa ulekana kwenye mibara hapa leo. Ndiyo mana nambia watu, chia o ni awaya mpito. Chia le mo on. Hata wakikosea, chia le mo on. Encourage them. Hakuna ane kamili. Chia le mo on. Nidyo tuhino tegenezo kuwa wachungaji sisi. There's no way leader who has been a leader without others who have cheered them on. Not one. Ubiri langu la kwanza nilichukua speech class. Mwalimu wangu alikuwa anaitwa Dr. Ted Jones, Marekani. Yeye ni mpenda sana darasa. Lakini niliazimia ya kwamba itaishia kwenye mtihani. Lakini akasema mtihani ni kutoa ubiri. <laughs> Kitu ambacho nilikuogopa sana woga na uzuri wake ukipita hapo ni mbaya kwa sababu ya woga hmm. nilijiandaa nikajiandaa 
na kwa sababu alitufundisha ukitaka kwenda sawa nenda kahubiri miti ile hubiri miti mingi sana <laughs> mwenyewe hubiri hubiri mpaka motoa wito kwa miti <laughs> lakini siku ilipofika <laughs> nilipata ta aliyejua ni aliangalia suruali zangu <laughs> zina tetemeka tetemeka Nilipo maliza kuhubiri hivyo hivyo ninatoka huko nje nina sweat kwamba hata maxi nimepata ngapi kwa mwalimu Wakaja wapande Hata leo niko kwenye mibara bwana asifiwe We are here to cheer you on I write to you because you're strong. I tell you in Jesus name. Amen. Ikiwa utatokea kama mimi wanao kukatisha katisha tamaa. Do not submit to those who pull you down. Nisikia sikuni. Submit to those who will pull you to the higher ground. Mungu amewaita vijana. Sasa unaulizaje? Amenitaje? Huyu Mungu anaita kwa njia mbalimbali. <laughs> na njia zingine zitakuwa kama zile zile za Samuel. Umelala usiku unaweza ukasikia Samuel, Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. Haleluya ikiwa utakuwa umemsikia Bwana akikuita kwa namna hiyo hiyo ya wazi kabisa. Nataka niwaambie sio nyakati zote atakazo kuita kwa njia hiyo wazi kabisa wakati fulani ataweka mzigo tu fulani moyoni mwako ambao ukienda kulala upo ukisoma physics upo ukicheza mpira upo <laughs> ukiangalia sinema upo how banguki at that time god is calling you listen very carefully be very attentive ukisoma theology ndio mungu anaruka theology na kazi anayoweza kukupa ni ya mahali fulani at a particular time if you don't rise up they may not be anybody else rise up rise up wakati mwingine Mungu anaweza kukuitia kupitia testimony ya mtu mwingine nikakaa hapa nikakuambia hadithi yangu ya jinsi Mungu alivyoniita Linaweza likakugusa utasikia mwito wa Mungu na wewe ya kwamba Mungu na mimi ameniita. Kwa hivyo testimony zingine zitakuchokonoa, zitakuambia God is calling you at the university right now. You don't know. There is one. So go in. Mzunde, St. Joseph, right now. God is calling you to spring into action. Through a testimony. Mungu anaweza kukuita kupitia kwa mahubiri fulani ambayo siku hiyo au fungu fulani ulilosoma wakati wa devotion litakuganda ukasikia mwito wa Bwana hapo ukija na usiku wa namna fulani. Mungu anaweza kukuita by a personal strong recurring impression ambayo inajirudia rudia inajirudia rudia na unajisikia ya kwamba hutapata amani mpaka hili limetekelezeka God will call you in different ways to engage in a particular mission a work he has for you to do it can be through a reading of a passage hearing of a sermon during moments of personal encounter with God and or even through a song right there Mungu anaweza kuwatumia mtamuita mtu mikia Mungu kupitia kwa wimbo fulani ambao umeuimba. God has a thousand ways. Be available. Be available. Ili Mungu anapokuita. Uweze kusema here in my sense. Na kumaliza. Kuna wengine hapa mnaweza kukiri udhaifu wenu kama nilivyokiri kwenu ya kama mimi nilikuwa mwoga na leo kwenye campus fulani na mnakiri ya kwamba pastor ndiye alikuambia tu kwenu 
hata mimi ninaoga unaposukuma sukuma hapa tujihusishe na kazi ya Mungu ninapata taabu i know i need to do it lakini ninakaoga woga ninakaibu aibu watanionaje hapa wenda wakaniita sister sister hapo kwa majina ndio lakini kuna mmoja hapa labda anasema jioni hii leo pasta hata kabla hatujaenda kwa program za jioni na kulala kwa nini usiniombe niombe Mungu wangu achukue hata kaoga akuchukue hata kai waibu anisaidie tu kwa namna fulani na kesho nitakufundisha kwa namna fulani ni kuse maisha ya watu kwa ajili ya Yesu. Ikiwa yuko namna hiyo basi utatembea kuja hapa mbele. Tafurahi kuomba. Kuomba kwa Mungu.
Mungu awawezeshe ili paji zile nyota ni roho za watu zilizookolewa kwa kazi yako binafsi. Ninaomba paji zenu zije ziwe zimejaa nyota. Basta tuweke vijana hawa mikono kwa baba. Tuone. Mungu wetu na baba yetu wa mbinguni. Mungu ni hai, Mungu ni mwema mbingu na nchi. Jioni ya leo tunapenda kushukuru sana kwa ajili ya neno lako tunalisikia. Tunapenda kushukuru kwa ajili ya sabato takatifu ambayo sasa yamalizika. Tunasema jina lako litukuzwe. Tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya kundi kubwa hili la vijana. Na kama neno lako lilivyosema kwamba vijana wana nguvu. Basi Bwana nguvu hizi ziweze kuwa ni kwa ajili ya utukufu wako. Mm. Tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya pasa Bwana na kwa ajili ya neno aliyopatia na kwa ajili ya uzoefu na kututia moyo kwamba hakuna sababu ya kuogopa. Mm. Hakuna mtu aliyezaliwa akijua vyote isipokuwa wewe umeweka vitu fulani kwetu na unataka tuvitumie kwa ajili ya kazi yako. Mm. Tunakushukuru kwa ajili ya vijana hao ambao wako tayari kwenda kutumika katika shamba lako. Mm. Na hata hivyo tumeshuhudia wakifanya kazi kubwa hasa mwaka huu 2017. Mm. Na mimi binafsi naona kama umekuja kupumzika. Mm. Tunaomba uwabariki sana Bwana. Neno langu limetupatia charge <coughs> kwamba kama vile ulivyomuita Samu tunawaita vijana hao na tunashukuru kwamba Samu aliweza kupata mashauri kwa heri na vijana hawa kwa mashauri haya wako tayari kufanya kazi tunaishi katika ulimwengu wa mitandao na vijana wengi wamechanganywa na mambo yanayopita kila siku katika mitandao lakini neno lako jioni hii limetupa nafasi ya kujifunza neno lako na kuona kwamba unakusudia nini katika maisha ya kila mmoja wetu. Hivyo Bwana tunaweka vijana hawa mikononi mwako wa kiume na wa kike ukaweze kuwabariki. Kwa kazi kubwa wanaoifanya lakini pia ubariki future ya maisha yao. Tunajua ziko changamoto nyingi hata katika masomo wanayosoma lakini hakuna aliyechagua kutumikia ukamweka chini usipokuwa unajua juu tunaomba uweze kuwajua vijana hawa juu katika kama sisi zote wanazoishi katika vyo wanakosoma waweze kuwa nuru kwa inayowaangaza na kesho kujipatia viongozi wa kanisa viongozi wa nchi viongozi wa idara mbalimbali kutoka katika kundi hili na hata wengine wote wanatukasa wanaasa kaweza kuwabariki sana. Mm. Mm. Bariki mtugaji Bwana anapoendelea kubariki kanena neno lako tupatie jioni njema endelea kubariki mkutano huu katika jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Vijana mm. kabla hamjarudi. Nataka mfahamu nina wapenda. I have confidence in you. Simameni. Sikuwezi chochote kupeleke kulia au kushoto. Ninapozungumza Mungu atawaita, nataka niweke wazi. Sio kwamba atakuita kuwa mchungaji. Pasta Mungu bado anaweza kuchukua wachungaji wa kafadhaa. Nina maana hii, God will call you right in your profession. Kufanya kitu fulani in the most creative way in the most intangible impactful manner think about that kwa sababu swala wa mara nyingi tukisema Mungu atakuita wengi wamedhani ni kuwa wachungaji kuwa wachungaji that's not what i mean right at your post of profession Mungu atatumia wengine wenu zaidi kuliko hata nabe tutumia wachungaji find your place pray about it think about it act on god's call 
na Mungu awabariki. Kwa sababu kweli ni huru. Siku moja wavunaji watafurahi. Tunaporudi labda kwa huyu mbio. Wavunaji watafurahi. Wow.